Push to impeach Obama makes major gain. Members of Congress more and more eyeing Washington solution. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show. This is probably going to be a little bit longer than your normal average American's attention span. I would hope that you would watch the entire thing. I have just juicy after juicy tidbit in this to uh, really let you know some information here about impeaching Obama and where we stand as of a couple of days ago. All right, so here we go. The possibility of impeaching Barack Obama based on a wide range of alleged constitutional violations already has been discussed by a long list of members of Congress, from Senator Ted Cruz, Republican of Texas, to Representative Duncan Hunter, Representative of Republican of California. Now, Representative Paul Brown, or Brune, a Georgia Republican who is seeking to replace the retiring Senator Saxby Chambliss, is joining the list. He's accompanied by a couple of his opponents in the open race. A video from a forum over the weekend featuring candidates for Chambliss seat shows Brown and two other, Derek Grayson, an engineer, and Eugene Yu, a businessman, raising their hands when asked whether they would support impeachment. Nearly the entire panel raised their hand. A forum moderator asked the candidates, Obama has just perjured himself on multiple occasions. Would you support impeachment if pressed for a vote? Broom, Grayson, and you raise their hand. Several other candidates did not, and there were other vying for the office who were not in attendance. Read the definitive case for removing Barack Obama from office in Impeachable Offenses by Aaron Klein and Brenda J. Elliott. Several, including King and Farenthold, made comments in interviews with Sean Hannity. King pointed to the president's action on immigration, such as his orders for authorities not to enforce current immigration law as grounds for impeachment. He said there are multiple violations related to Obamacare and asserted the president's recess appointments of judges when the Senate was not actually in recess, in recess also is worthy. The Uber presidency, King said, has little or no respect for the Constitution. Farrant Hull said Obama is grabbing as much power as he can, but Congress also is doing little to draw in the reins. The two said that politically Obama is exercising great power and believes Congress cannot or will not stop him. The president knows it. He's exploiting it, King said. Stockman even handed out on, in Congress copies of a book that had been described by its authors as the Articles of Impeachment for Barack Obama. Stockman suggested that special investigations and possibly prosecutions are needed in response to Fast and Furious, Benghazi, and other Obama scandals. Representative Bill Flores, Republican of Texas, was speaking at a town hall meeting when he considered the idea. A video of his comments was posted at the Western Center for Journalism, which I spoke about in one of my other videos that you can check out on my channel. I've looked at the president. I think he's violating the Constitution. I think he's violated the Bill of Rights, he said. He said at some point, a decision must be made. I think if the House had an impeachment vote, it would probably impeach the president. But, he noted, there are only 46 members, of, 46 members of the GOP in the U.S. Senate where an impeachment president would be put on trial. To obtain a conviction, the prosecution, a prosecuting team must have 67 votes. And he wasn't sure even all the GOP members would vote to convict. I think he's breaking the law if he strikes without congressional approval. Hunter told Washington Times regarding Obama's plan to bomb Syria, and if he proceeds without Congress providing that authority, it should be considered an impeachable offense. 
WND previously reported Coburn's statement that Obama is perilously close to qualifying for impeachment. Speaking at the Muskegee Civic Center in Oklahoma, the senator said, what you have to do is you have to establish the criteria that will qualify for proceedings against the president, and that's called impeachment. Coburn said it's not something you take lightly, and you have to use a historical precedent of what that means. Visit WND's online impeachment store to see all the products related. <laughs> Earlier, Bentavoglio said it would be a dream come true to impeach Obama. I made a video about that also. Bentavoglio told the uh, Birmingham Bloomfield Republican Club meeting, you know, if I could write that bill and submit it, it would be a dream come true. He told constituents, I feel your pain and I know. I stood 12 feet away from that guy and listened to him and I couldn't stand being there. But because he is president, I have to respect the office. That's my job as a congressman. I respect the office. Bentavoglio said his experience with the president caused him to consult with attorneys about what it would take to remove Obama from office. I made a video about that too. Cruz responded to a question about impeachment after a speech. It's a good question, Cruz said, and I'll tell you the simplest answer. To successfully impeach a president, you need the votes in the U.S. Senate. In May, Inhofe suggested that Obama could be impeached over a White House cover-up after the attack in Benghazi, Libya, and September 11, 2012. He told listeners of The Rusty Humphrey Show, of all the great cover-ups in history, the Pentagon Papers, Iran-Contra, Watergate, all the rest of them, this is going to go down as the most egregious cover-up in American history. We're talking about Benghazi here. But even with that searing indictment, Inhofe, too, stopped short of calling for impeachment. Representative Jason uh, Chaffetz, a Republican of Utah, has offered tentative support for impeachment. I'm not willing to take it off the table, but that's certainly not what we're striving for, he told CNN, which of course is not going to tolerate a Republican talking about impeachment. One Republican actually has come out and called for the impeachment of Obama, and he did it more than two years ago before he became a congressman. Representative Ted Yoho, Republican of Florida, posted on his website on June 2011, a list of reasons for impeachment. Other figures who have discussed impeachment, including Glenn Beck, Watergate investigator reporter Bob Woodward, WD columnist Nat Hentoff, and a panel of top constitutional experts. Stockman recently distributed copies of the book Impeachable Offenses, the case for removing Barack Obama from office, to the other 434 members of the House of Representatives to bolster his case for special investigation of the president. The best-selling impeachable offense presents an indictment that goes well beyond today's headlines. The Daily Mail of London has called impeachable offenses explosive reporting that the book contains a systematic connects the dot exercise that the president's defenders will find troublesome. Constituents also are reaching some surprising conclusions. Voters in Republican Rep. Jim Bridenstine, Oklahoma district may look meek and mild, maybe even sweet, but their opinions of President Obama reveal nothing but a battleground take no prisoners attitude. One lady, for example, said that there needs to be changes in the Senate so we can impeach the SOBs. Said another, he's not president as far as I'm concerned, should be executed. He's an enemy combatant. She complained that Congress is doing nothing and that allows this moron to make decisions. He has no authority, none. The video was uploaded just this week, but it's unclear when the meeting was held and the congressman's office was unable to provide details immediately. At one point, the congressman references back in April 2013, and it appears to be winter, so likely it was recorded 
in the past few months, meaning this winter. The congressman has been documented Obama's lawlessness. And that is the state of impeachment of Obama as we stand today. The only thing that I can say is, and I said this before, it's the Senate. It's the Senate. It's the Senate. They have gone to the senators and said, what would you do if we brought impeachment and the senators said no? Absolutely not. We wouldn't even consider the proceedings. It wouldn't even happen. It would be a Bill Clinton number two. That's all that would happen if they don't do anything before this election. Now, this election, 2014 election, senator seats are coming up for vote. This is the time to put your backing behind a senator, a Republican or a Libertarian, who agrees with impeaching the president for his offenses. He has committed offenses against the Constitution, against the United States. He has exercised more than the War Powers Act. He has, he is in violation and he has committed treason. Now, these are serious offenses and that the Congress, meaning the House and the Senate, are not doing anything other than saying that they would support a vote. They have taken a tally of the House and the House would impeach in the House. Then they would go to the Senate and the Senate says absolutely not. Absolutely not. 2014 election, this is a time to vote these clowns out of office. If you're not going to go strap on guns and start a revolution, this is a time to go throw your support behind a Republican or a Libertarian or a Libertarian Republican who is in support of impeaching Obama. You know what? Nothing else really matters at this point. Nothing else really matters. Nothing else is that important at this time in the history of the United States. If you leave this guy in office, regardless of what other issues the, the, the candidate says he's in favor of, it's going to be null and void if Obama has his way, the dollar will tank. I mean, the country is in for it. This issue is important. You need to get him out of office. You need to back a senator who says, point blank, I will support impeachment of Barack Obama. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show. Leave a comment below of what you think about this issue. I know all of you have some sort of feeling. I've, I'm sweating here just thinking about this, just how upset I am at the way the country is going and what is happening. Obamacare, uh, Obamacare is killing children. It's killing homeless people or poor people. The people who is, it said it would cover, it doesn't cover. It was all a lie and it was all planned from the start. You need to get this guy out of office. He continually, every day, executive order, executive order, he continuously violates the Constitution. Thank you for watching the show.